Happy Tuesday, friends. It's going to be another great day, so enjoy it if you can. I want to start today with a question. Have you ever asked God to help settle a disagreement for you? To help handle a sticky situation for you? To help get or find judgment for you? Why go to God with this kind of request? Because he's just and righteous, right? Well, David does the same thing in today's psalm. Our psalm for today is Psalm 71, and we'll be looking at verses 1 through 6. Get your Bible and follow along. Psalm 71, 1 to 6. In you, Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, rescue me and deliver me. Turn your ear to me and save me. Be my rock of refuge to which I can always go. Give the command to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of those who are evil and cure and, and cruel. For you have been my hope, sovereign Lord, my confidence since my youth. From birth I have relied on you. You brought me forth from my mother's womb. I will ever praise you. The psalmist asks for help because God is righteous. But shouldn't that lead him to punish rather than aid us? Well, this question is asked in Psalm 130 when it says, If you, Lord, kept the record of sins, and he does, Lord, who could stand? When we go to God with this kind of request, do we ever stop to think about what we are actually due from God? And if we want God to protect us, shouldn't God be protecting others from us? I mean, what if God did answer our prayer, but also gave us what we deserved? How can God love us and still be true to his own righteousness? Well, the good news is, is that the Bible is one long great answer to that question. It happens only through Jesus. Who else completely relied on God from birth and always praised Him? You see, Jesus earned the blessing of salvation we didn't deserve and took the curse for sin that we do deserve. Now, This is what grace is. Jesus taking what punishment we deserve and giving us the love that we do not deserve. And that is how we can go before God with our prayers of help and know that we will get that help. If we are in Christ, receiving his love, the confidence David had becomes ours by grace. If we are in Christ, we have that grace. We have Christ taking our punishment and returning God's love to us. We have that grace. Let's pray. O oh Lord, you are more ready to hear than I am to pray, and you are inclined to give me more than I desire or deserve. Because I have taken refuge in Jesus' saving work on my behalf, Give me the protection and joy for which it would be presumptuous otherwise to ask. Amen. Friends, receive the love of Christ. Receive the confidence that goes with it. Receive the grace that is offered to you by Christ. And be blessed.